all good evening for another splendid uh, evening of learning and quizzing and fun uh, all are welcome to the interhouse quiz competition to get 911 for the year 2023 i hand you over to the uh, for the quiz master today mr sumanto and team mr jaron and mr kalyan have a great evening over to mr sumanto sir Thank you, Dominic sir. Good evening to all. We will rock you. Well, uh, we have four teams representing four different houses, and the first one, brilliant, clever, intelligent, and sharp. Right? And audience, I have shown you already. There are some few. okay but 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 it will come to you if nobody answers the question will be passed to the audience and i have some questions for audience too right so you don't answer just raise your hand i will come to you if your answer is correct you get a chocolate if not you will pay a chocolate no okay only i one sided fine all right Teams, are you ready? I'm not going for the introduction part because it's six ten, and uh, quickly we'll go through the rounds for today's quiz. Uh, the the next slide tells you the seven rounds. The first one will be the knowledge check, and it's a traditional round. The questions will be passed. If you give the correct answer, you get a ten points. It's a passed question, five points. the second is a picture perfect you have to this is a buzzer round the second round is a buzzer round but again it's a 10 points but it, there is a minus 5 if you give a wrong answer or no answer third one is a kick start you have to choose a topic and that particular question will be for 30 points and if you don't answer you get minus 10 rest of the questions will be the general question for 10 points and if you don't choose the last topic will be by default the trigger question let's connect i will give you the clues you have to identify some person and or the company fast and furious is the buzzer round it's basically a audio video round double trouble again the buzzer round but here the unique thing is you can double your points so general will be 10 points you can double your points before giving the answer so you can say i am going for the double so if in case you going for double you can get 20 points but at the same time it will be minus 10 also if you double it otherwise it will be 10 and minus 5 and the last one kalyanser is ready with his machine gun 5 points for the correct answer and minus 2 for the wrong answer you will get 60 seconds and only one participant is going to answer are you ready not you participants are you ready okay first round will start with rohan sir the knowledge check rohan sir sorry check check my first question always to the audience okay all right one hand over there what's wrong in that picture that side last one back back of you yeah you raise the hand first smoke is coming okay you don't know what is behind all right girl side last one time is 2 o'clock how it is evening how it is evening sunset and 2 o'clock is the wrong thing come on come on come on the first one
Check, check. Good evening. As I'm missing my student, Elena. Check. Okay, voice is very important. E flat, E flat, E flat. No, it's good. So this is the first round. Hope everybody is ready. Shiv, don't look at me like that, okay? It's really uh, scary. So we'll start with this round, knowledge check. So I start with Team Brilliant. If Team Brilliant can't answer the question, the question passes to Team Clever, then to Team Intelligent. I just assume that Team Clever will not answer it, so, sorry. And then finally, Team Sharp. Sorry, Rishit. He's another person you shouldn't mess with. 10 marks, 10 points for the right answer. Five marks for the passed on answer. And if Team Sharp can't answer, audience clap as I get the chocolate. Audience, OK? Let's go. This we use a lot to bunk prep and uh, exams. And we go to Dr. Albin often. But we use MRI scans to diagnose a variety of conditions of the body. Please expand MRI. Magnetic resonance imaging. What? Magnetic resonance imaging. You just made up three random words, huh? You made up three random words? No. Good, it's the right answer. Very good. Magnetic resonance imaging. I saw a psychology student put his hand on the head. Next question to Team Clever. All the best. Shimla is the summer capital of Himachal Pradesh. Which city is the winter capital? Dharamshala. Dharamshala. Hey, no vernacular, okay? <laughs> school, school, international school. Dharamshala, Dharamshala. Correct answer, guys. Dharamshala is the right answer. Winter capital of Himachal Pradesh. 10 points to Team Clever. Off to a good start. Oh, I jinxed it. It's Autumn House. All the best, guys. Whose picture is on the front side of the 100 US dollar bill? George Washington. Right answer? Abraham Lincoln, Barack Obama, George Bush. Sorry, guys, wrong answer. It's past, wait. Abraham Lincoln. <laughs> Very sharp. Brilliant. Benjamin Franklin. Shiv knows it. I know only Mahatma Gandhi. Benjamin Franklin is the right answer. Five marks. Sorry, Autumn House. This is a very old question, because I never understood it, but I by hearted it. Which country is known as the cockpit of Europe? Germany. If Hitler wanted it to be cockpit of the world, but no. Sorry, guys. Pass. Austria. I'm trying, you know. Like. 
Sorry, guys. Wrong answer. Monaco. What? Monaco. Monaco. Uh. Too much F1 for you. Wrong answer. Come on, Autumn. France. Sorry, guys. Not so clever, smart, brilliant, intelligent. Audience? <laughs> there are more automites in the audience. No cheating. Saram is no cheating. Come on, Dominic, sir. Bangladesh. Hoodie. 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 Belgium is the right answer. Belgium. Very famous. It's interesting now. Okay. Going to the next set of questions. We start with Sharp. Yeah. Please, guys, don't. Uh, blurt out the answers, please. Zero four three two one. Identify this. This is Elon Musk's son's name. <laughs> is it? I think so. Is it his son? Huh? Is it his son? Yes. Is he sure? Yep. It is the name of Elon Musk's son. X Ash A hyphen twelve. It's the Aadhaar card for the rich people. <laughs> Ten points to Sharp. Intelligent. Which IIT has collaborated with NASA to develop a low cost camera setup? Kharagpur. Everybody knows that that's the only good IIT in this country. But no. Sorry. Good try. Bombay. Mohammed? <laughs> Mumbai. Mumbai. They rejected me also, so they can't be. Sorry? Stop playing with the mic. It has to work first. Okay. <laughs> IIT Madras. So confident. It's absolutely the wrong answer. <laughs> Rootki. How many IITs are there in this country? That also is the wrong answer. Sumanto sir's domain now. There goes the man, the machine. One after one. One after one. Kanpur, Pune, Ahmedabad, Bangalore, Delhi, wrong. Odisha. IIT Orissa is there. Wow. Hyderabad. Sit down, sit down, sit down. <laughs> There's a new IIT, IIT Bihar. 
and the director is nitish kumar good shepherd international school iit good shepherd okay the final answer one Please. only one tell why that why that wishes okay the answer is iit indore very close to iit outdoor this has happened last week clever which country successfully launched the oefk-13 spy satellite into space using the shavit launch vehicle audience be quiet russia yeah they launched it on ukraine Sorry, wrong answer. Again, China. Sure. We'll speak later. <laughs> Team Shah. Korea. North. North Korea. go here israel israel is the right answer yeah. five points five points something je ne sais quoi about uh, autumn house i don't know why last question of this round to team brilliant which city tops the list of the world's wealthiest city in 2023 audience to be quiet time up milan milan मैदान मिलान मिलान सॉरी गाइस रॉन्ग आंसर नो नेगेटिव पॉइंट यू कैन आंसर क्विकली ओके पास इट ऑन नेक्स्ट से द आंसर अदरवाइज टोक्यो टोक्यो सो रॉन्ग आंसर गाइस रॉन्ग आंसर Tokyo is the second one. And you can't ask and answer at the same time. Huh? Tokyo and <laughs> Monaco. <laughs> Team Monaco. <laughs> New York. It's the right answer. It's the end of the first round. Thank you. Thank you teams. Well, well guys, so first knowledge check and uh, the intelligent team you have to increase your intelligence. You are in 5 points. Sharp more sharper. 10 points. And clever and brilliant both are in 15 points the second round is the buzzer round second round is the buzzer round so you have negative points also welcome kalyan sir good evening to all of you let's check the brilliance of the brilliance no sir This is a buzzer round. Buzzer round. All together. Four questions in the first round. It will be either personalities or landmark. 
In the second round, it will be four questions again. It will be either a logo or a flag. Right? Let's have the picture, please. So the first picture here. Yes. Identify. Identify. Two. The Barcelona Cathedral. Barcelona Cathedral. Can you name it? Oh, no. There are so many cathedrals in Barcelona. No, no, no. Yeah. Number three? No passive. No passive. You want to answer? You can answer. Sagrada Familia. Yes, that's the correct answer. The La Sagrada Familia in Barcelona, Spain. Yes, that's the correct answer. Minus five for clever. Minus five for clever people. No pass. You will not get any points in this round. You can answer. This is still an unfinished cathedral, by the way. It was started in 1882, and the year to complete it is 2026. The next one. Who is this? Yes, brilliant. Jagdeep Dhankar, the Vice President of India. Are you sure? Are you sure? Yes. Very good. That's the right answer. Jagdeep Dhankar, the Vice President of India. 10 points to brilliant. Let's have the third picture. Very familiar. No buzzers. Shall we go to the audience? Yes, son, tell me. Palace of Versailles is the wrong answer. Yes. Edinburgh Castle. No. Pardon? No. Windsor, that's the right answer. The Windsor Castle. In England. Because nobody's going to UK, so they won't know this. <laughs> we have the last picture for the first round. This, you should get it. Come on. Come on, press the buzzer. Ten or Sharp, five. intelligent, clever, brilliant. Just go for it. No? Oh my God. Audience. Some girls. Who? Who is she? Just come over here. That's the correct answer. It is Akshatha Murthy, wife of Rishi Sunak, Prime Minister of the United Kingdom. Hmm. Not you, sir. May not be possible. <laughs> well, that's the end of the first round where you had the Personalities or landmarks. The next is logo or you will have flags. Audience, be quiet. This is also a buzz around. Yes, sir. Number three. Intelligent people. Renault. Which one? Louder. Renault. Renault. Is the correct answer. <laughs> Ten points to intelligent. The next one. This is the flag of which country? Two. Clever. Liberia. Liberia is the right answer. <laughs> Ten points to clever. NVIDIA. NVIDIA is the right answer.
the last one in this round. Uh, North Korea. Very clever, North Korea it is. <laughs> Looks like they had an easy round. We'll come back to it. Thank you. Thank you, Glenza. We'll start the third round and the points will be told to you after this round. That's the kick start. Now, this round will have topic based. There are four topics, science, sports, entertainment, and history geography, right? You need to choose one topic for your trigger question. Please decide. Here you have four topics. I'll go with the same sequence. If you are not opting for any science, sports, or entertainment, by default, your trigger question will be history and geography. Anyone playing with science? No? Sports, you're playing for science? All right. I'll go this way. The second round, I'll come this way. Third and fourth. Right? Are you playing for science? Only one you can play? Yeah. No? Sports, anyone? You'll go with sports? You'll go with sports. Fine. Entertainment. All right. So we have three varieties. The first one is science, which team Brilliant is playing. With the second round, sports, the two teams, clever and intelligent, both are playing for 30 points. But if you give me the wrong answer, it will be minus 10. Right? Other questions will be a general question. There is no pass. 10 points for general questions if you have not opted for the trigger. Hope I'm clear. There's no buzzer around this one. I'm going with brilliant team now. Are you ready for your trigger question? Plus 30 or minus 10? Right? All right. This is the easy one for you. Okay? Science first question. Look at here. Yeah, yeah. It will not come there. Which is the only letter that does not appear in the symbol of any elements in the periodic table? 10 seconds you have. Which is the only letter that does not appear in the periodic table? Quickly. It's a trigger question. Quickly, last, answer it. Q. Q. I'm sorry, it's wrong. No points, but still you can answer. J. J is the right answer. No points. No points and minus 10 for brilliant team. Nobody is playing in this round. So I'll go directly to the clever. Your question for the science round. All right. One thing, not for the trigger, it's a general one. Okay, it's a 10. This question, if you miss it, they will get it. But there's no point, but they will get the answer. Okay? Yep. What freezes faster, warm water or cold water? 10 points. Warm water. Warm water. Why? Cold water is already. What freezes faster, warm water or cold water? Warm water. W warm water. Warm you water. go with warm water? That's the right answer. Warm water freezes faster than the cold water because of the evaporation. All right. Ten points. Clever team. General question, ten points. It's an easy one again. Our skin, when exposed to excess sunlight, becomes dark. Right? This is because of our skin pigments called? Melanin. Ten points to you. You should have taken trigger question for this. Comes to stop. You are also not playing. Is okay? Entomology is the scientific study of No negative points. 
You are not playing trigger, so you can answer. No negative points. If you get, you get plus 10. No? Birds? Anybody else without points? Team Clever? Study of insects. Study of? Insects. Insects. I can't give you, but you are right. I can't give you a point. Insects is the right answer. Please give a round of applause for Team Clever. Well, sports, next one. And two teams are playing trigger in that. 30 and 30, but I'm going to start from sharp. Right? So this one is your general question. 10 points. The question is, which is the only Grand Slam tournament to use clay court? Sarah, ma'am, wait. Which is the only Grand Slam tournament to use clay court? Time up. Wimbledon is wrong. Anybody else want to try it out here? French. No answer. French. French Open. French Open is the right answer. The French Open, no points, although. Well, 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 the trigger question comes now. Plus 30 or minus 10 for the team intelligent. You are not that intelligent. I think that's quite easier question you get. William Jones Cup is associated with which sport? William Jones Cup is associated with which sport? One name. Yes, any answer? Golf. Golf? Sorry, minus 10 for team intelligent. Anybody can answer this? No way? No way? No? All right. I don't have chocolate to fill my pocket. Uh, Okay, Mishri. Hockey! Don't come here. Toshan. Toshan, raise hand, right? Badminton. Come. That side, hello. That side. Court is that side. I didn't tell you to get your prize there. All right, kids there. That fellow never answered. Yeah. Huh? wrong. This side, somebody, last boy. Basketball. You also come and go there. But you come here, you come here, you come here, come here, come here, come here. Basketball is the right answer. I'll to go. All right. Clever, clever, this is, you're lucky man. You get a very easy answer question for your trigger. The next question, look at the screen now. That's your trigger question. It comes, your fate. What is this sign by the umpire? Impact player. Impact player is the right answer. Their luck, this is you chose intelligent, I never gave you intelligent. All right, next is the brilliant one. This is also quite easier. Who won the FIFA World Cup 2022? Argentina. My question is coming now. Name the manager of the team. Lionel Scaloni. Lionel Scaloni. 10 points. 10 points. Okay. Now we are finished with sports and entertainment. Team Sharp is playing trigger here. Right? But I'll come back to you. I'll start from brilliant again. Fair enough. 
10 points for first three teams. Easy one. Okay. First question to team Brilliant. How is Stephanie, Joanne, Angelina, Garmonata better known as? Not trigger question. Any answer? No minus point, no negative point coming to you. No points though. Any answer? Stephanie, Joanne, Angelina, German. Okay, time up. Any answer? Quickly? No, wait. The Spice Girls. The Spice Girls. Which one you're talking about? <laughs> okay. The, the Spice Girls. Spice Girls. Sorry? Anybody? Angelina Jolie. <laughs> nice one. Thank you. Not right. Lady Gaga. Lady Gaga. Here, something is written like this. Lady Gaga is the right answer. No points though. Good one. All right, I go to the second one. Team Clever. You are clever. You got a clever, so you get a good, easy questions, right? My question here. What's the name of the first James Bond movie in which Daniel Craig appeared? Quick. James Bond Casino Royale. Casino? Royale. Go to casino? Huh? You go to casino? Do you go to casino? No, no, no. Do you go? Have you ever gone? <laughs> no. Never. Ten points. Casino Royal is the right answer. I'll come to you. Get ready for the trigger question. My third question here. Which movie won the first ever Oscar for Best animated film. Which movie won the best first ever Oscar? Lion King. Lion King. Now I am the king. It's wrong. Any answer? No? This side? Yeah. Pinocchio? No? No one? Inside out? Inside out? No? Finding Nemo? Finding Nemo. Finding you. Nemo, Nemo. Mm. This is an animated one, so I go with this kids first, right? Okay, small one. Jungle Book, not right, next. Oh, no, 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 no. You forgot? Yeah. No? Doraemon. Hey. Now they started Doraemon, Chota Bheem, Mo. No, 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 over, no. Okay, look at the screen, look at the screen, look at the screen. All right. Audience, be quiet. There is a bit hard bit for the little faster. 30 plus 30 or minus 10. Team Sarp is playing trigger in this next question. This is a very recent question here. My question is, which Bollywood celebrity is the new brand ambassador of Malabar Gold and Diamonds? Which Bollywood? No? Anil Kapoor? Anil Kapoor? Anil Kapoor. I don't have his number, I would have asked him. Okay, no. Yeah. Kareena Kapoor. Kareena Kapoor, no. That's the wrong answer. Amitabh Bachchan. Any other? You also tell one name. <laughs> Nora Fatehi. Oh, oh, oh. 
Well, no, Sarah, ma'am. Sarah, ma'am, you raise your hand first. Then you have to pay a chocolate. Fine. Girl side, last girl there. Priyanka Chopra, please stand up. Who are you telling Priyanka Chopra? Please stand up. Only three. Sit down. You come. You come. Not Priyanka Chopra. Alia Bhatt is the right answer. And this has happened, uh, I think, uh, three, four days back. Okay? All right. We'll go to the last round of history geography. Nobody is playing trigger. I'll go with sharp again. Right? Quickly. The first question to you. You get 10 points or you get zero. There is no negative. Right? Audience, be quiet. Because after saying that, you'll be raising hand. I know. Okay? This is not your trigger question. Which country has the most pyramids in the world? Quick. My question is, which country has the most pyramids of the world? Use the mic. Egypt. Why are you raising hand? They stole Egypt, right? So hands down, right? That's the wrong answer. All right, here. Uh, South Sudan. South Sudan. South? Sudan. Sudan is the right answer. The number of pyramids in Sudan is above 200. And uh, in uh, Egypt, it's 138. So I asked, the country has the most pyramids in the world. My second question here. It's history. Who was the father of A-K-B-A-R? Akbar. Humayun. Humayun is right answer. Ten points. Very quickly, geography. In which country would you find the city Dresden? In which country would you find the city of Dresden? Hands down, I will come. Otherwise, Germany. Yeah. Rohan, sir? Give it. Okay. Give it. Germany is the right answer. And my last question Have you deposited your mobile phones? Pratham, have you deposited your mobile phones when you came after midterm or after the vacation? Not after midterm, after the vacation. My question to you is, who is known as the father of mobile phone? Charles Babbage is the computer, father of computer. Who is known as the father of mobile phone? Quickly. Not me. Don't look at me. It's not me. Steve Jobs, somebody said. Be quiet, please. Don't tell the reveal the answer. No? Your 10 seconds are over. Graham Bell, Alex Alexander Graham Bell. Oh. Alexander Graham Bell. Alexander Graham Bell, mobile phone or uh, telephone? There's a difference between a telephone and a mobile phone. I hope you are a computer student. Right? Yeah. So, there's a difference. So, Graham Bell is wrong answer. Anybody who can try it out? Anyone? No, 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 no. Now, please don't come. You'll start Steve Jobs, Tom Cook, all this. Please don't tell me. All right? Okay. That boy is, who is... You sit down first. Next boy, yeah. Parth Patel, what is it? Martin? Martin Cooper, I never heard that name. Martin Cooper. Catch it! Martin Cooper is the right answer. Lovely, very good. 
Okay, here we go with the points now. After this round, okay, you don't want to? Okay, anyway. And then, final one. Wow. Team Sharp. Sorry. Is it still zero? So you came to zero now? Team Intelligent. 25 points. Team Brilliant. 35 points. And Team Clever. Leading with Nine zero ninety points. But, but, we have another four rounds. Okay? Let's collect. Okay, audience. Audience. I'm coming to you frequently, but still, please raise your hand. This time is a deal. If you tell me the wrong answer, you have to pay me two chocolates. Okay, one chocolate. Deal? Okay, deal or no deal. Fine? So, all right. Now, the question is, I am showing a picture to you. You have to identify two mistakes in that picture. Right? Let's see the picture first. Don't raise your hand if you don't know. Go ahead. Okay, here, Ayo. What is that, Ayo? Tell me. The lady is carrying an umbrella. So, lady cannot carry an umbrella? So, it's not raining. So, in the sun, they can't carry? No, oh my God, what is this? You can't carry umbrella. I want to carry umbrella. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There is no reflection. Okay, there is no, it may not be not sunny. Yes, please. The door is not open. The driver will open the door. Uh -huh. the number, is not there. number is not there. Okay, top number is there. She is wearing heels. That's a mistake. Oh my God. Girls, she is wearing heels. That's a mistake. Woo. All right, this side. One, one. Here, here. Yeah. No? It may come out. Sometimes it is after door opening, it comes out. Come. Come. The answer is, you can tell, come nearby. Tell me. Tell the answer. No wiper and um, uh, no rear view mirror. No side mirrors and no wiper. That's the right answer. And even I got your answer from you. Okay. Now this is a serious, next round is very serious. And the next round is... Let's connect. So I will show you one example. You all know it, but still for the audience. It's not a buzzer round. Okay? And uh, I will go with uh, Brilliant. I finished with Brilliant. Right? Okay. I'll go with Brilliant. I'll give you some clues. Let's see. The first example. Identify the company, right? Go ahead. There are four clues. Now, if you, after the first clue, if you are able to give me the answer, you get 20 points. After the second clue, it becomes 15 points, 10 points, and at last, after the fourth clue, if you give me the answer, correct answer, it will be five points only, right? But once you have given the answer, you can't. After the first one, if you are sure, you give the answer, because you can answer only once. Okay, so in this case, no minus, okay, but it will be passed. It will be passed, right? So from that point, I will pass, and the passed question will be of five points. Is it okay? All right. So for example, the first, this example I have given last time also, only Vimal, 
The question was identify the company. If you get here, you get 20 points. Right? If you don't get here, you ask me for the second clue. Okay? The second clue now. Auto LPG. Even you don't know. Fine. Your third is trends. And the fourth one is geo. So now you are confirmed now here. So you get a five points only. But if you have answered in the after the only Vimal, it will be 20 points. Hope you understood. Audience also, I think you got it. Right? Okay. The answer was Reliance. So there is some connection between all the four. Fine. Can we go with first? Identify the person. Now, so that means there is a person behind all these four clues. Okay? Think and give me. I'm giving you the first clue for this team. Brilliant. The first clue goes as April 24, 1973. April 24, 1973. Not taking risk. We'll go for a second. Second. That means they may go to, there's a picture there. The question was identify the person. There is some link, all the four, right? If you don't know, you can ask for third one. Third one. Third one, please. Playing it my way, my autobiography. Audience, be quiet. If you answer at this point, correct answer, you get 10 points, right? And if you don't get, then you can ask for the second or, or the last one, sorry. The fourth and the last clue. Fourth clue. Test carrier matches 200, best score 248. Sachin Tendulkar. Sachin Tendulkar. Can you connect it? Can you connect? Huh? Can you connect these four? Birthday. Birth date. I That's Ramakant Achrekar, his coach. All right. And the autobiography playing it my way and his test scores. So the person, Sachin Tendulkar. Five points. Well. I go to the team Clever. You have to identify the company. Right? I'll go with the first clue. The first clue gives you 20 points. Green, the sustainability store for a better tomorrow. Any idea? Go with the second. All right. The second comes down. If you're sure you answer, otherwise you can ask for third question, third clue. But if you once you answer, you can't get next. All right, we go for the third one. That picture coming up. No? No? The fourth and final clue to identify the company. The big billion days. Flipkart. Flipkart is the right answer. Plus five for Clever. Now I'll tell you the green is the newly launched for their uh, the first uh, picture what you have seen. Second was the Mintra which is now uh, with uh, Flipkart. And the third one, two people were there. They were the founder Sachin and uh, Bini Bansal. They are the founder of uh, Flipkart there. And obviously the big billion days of the advertisement comes where they give a lot of sale. Right. Coming to the team intelligent, you get to know about this person there, which I'm giving four hints. This is easy one. You should get it. The first clue for you. King South University. Next clue. All right. The next clue. Operation Decisive Storm. Not getting it. Next clue, number three. 
vision 2030 here you should have get this no no next fourth one is a three characters there that's all the fourth one is mbs fourth one is mbs quiet it may pass Mohammed to bin. team sharp no negative point mohammed bin salman mohammed bin salman mohammed bin salman who is he king of uh, sheikh of dubai sheikh or king dubai, dubai or some place like some 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 day okay saudi yeah saudi mbs mohammed bin salman is the right answer you get a five points there now you connect it he studied in the university all right and uh, after that he joined his father uh, the defense minister and then the the war yemen war started operation resistive storm his new one you can check it out with a lot of economic and all these things a vision 2030 and mbs is you type mbs in the google it comes mohammed bin sultan the crown king all right you have the fourth one you have to identify the company ready okay the first clue 20 points if you answer all right i'm asking for a company you will not get a chance i'm again warning you if you're sure you go ahead otherwise company tata company tata tata name of the company is tata steel tata steel so who is he actually he is uh, jamshed ji tata the founder of uh, like he had this vision of tata company was he looking jamshed ji tata like this sorry team sha that's you should have asked for the more clues he is not jamshed ji tata his name has been taken in this you know platform today itself all right so you mistake your mistake okay no problem it passes to at the same place but you get a five points you can ask for the clue i can give you one more clue then i can go next you next clue okay the next clue but you get five points any idea two people are there now no idea you ask for third clue are you asking for third clue or you are asking answer you are telling me the answer you can ask for the third clue also third clue mobilizing your world cooper 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 somebody told right cooper is the company name name of the person was over that is over that round is over who will identify the name of the person i'm sorry i'm giving you intelligent you can have one more if you want all right jacob sir any idea no no don't tell the answer you have idea okay the fourth one at&t at&t is the right answer well the first photo is not jamshed ji tata it is the person who invented telephone that's graham bell right the second one who is the founder actually one of the founder of at&t the second one is john stanky who is the current ceo of at&t the tag line which is one of the tag line is mobilizing your world and obviously the logo comes which is the fourth clue so it's a at&t right and we finish the round with this the next round is the fast and furious with mr rohan this is a buzzer round now video audio 
Fast and the Furious, Paul Walker. Buzz around, 10 points, minus five. Autumn? Okay, let's go. Watch this movie clip might be new to some of us. Buzz around, okay? Name one of these actors. Testing, testing, testing. Buzzer if this was the level of this quiz. We are testing the buzzer. It's not. Rahul Sipli Gunj. What a singer. He was one of the singers of this song. Who is the second singer? Yeah, look, discuss with you, not look at the audience. I think we need to check the buzzers, I think. The first one we check the buzzer. Who is the second singer? Some hands are raised, one hand I can see from there, okay. I'll come to you, okay, Anilok, wait. Nobody, right? Looks like Junior NTR is laughing at us because we <laughs> don't know this. Okay. Okay, Anilok. Karl Bhairava. Is the right answer. Well, we go with the second one. Second. Check it out. Okay. Audio. We'll go for the second one. Audio. The same sound I used to hear when I should get my results. <laughs> Identify the musical instrument. Two, number two. Number two? Ten or minus five. Identify the musical instrument. After minus five, we'll play that sound again. Satrang. What is that? Satrang. Satrang. Sorry, guys. Nobody from the audience? Anyone? Anyone? No. No, we have, sir. We have an intelligent person. Shenai. Randomly, don't take girls' names. Okay, we now. Shenai is the right answer. Shenai. Points. Get a video, YouTube video to learn how to play the Shenai. 
Next one. There are these Indian words which don't exist in any Indian language and don't exist in any other form of the English language, like brinjal. Right. So in the Western world, it's eggplant, right? And in India, there is no Indian language where it's called brinjal. It's called bengan, it's called vaidhanya in Malayalam, begun in Bangla. Yeah. Yeah. But you can't have anyone saying brinjal except in Indian English. Um, but there are lots of, lots of interesting words, as you know, yesterday. There are these Indian words which don't exist in any Indian language and don't exist in any other form of the English language. Like, there are these Indian words. Hi. Identify the person. Team four. <laughs> no. I think so. Shashi Tharoor? Are you sure? Yep. I think it was Aditya, sir. Hmm? I need my I.O. outline. Is the right answer. Last. Ready? It's a video. लगातार चलती बारिश के कारण आज मैदान पानी की चादर से ढक चुका है। आपको बता दें कि आज भारत की टीम भिड़ेगी अनुभवी युगोस्लाविया की टीम से। भारत एक युवा देश जो अपनी आजादी के पांचवें साल में दूसरी बार ओलिंपिक्स में फुटबॉल खेल के लिए क्वालिफाई हुआ है। भारतीय खिलाड़ियों के लिए चुनौती Identify the movie. No one? Should we go to the audience? I guess so. This boy was raising the first hand, the second boy. Sit down. Yeah, that boy. Yeah. Marks are also good. And here somebody who, yeah. Olympics. Name of the movie. Name of the movie. Name of the movie. Okay, hint is, it's the upcoming movie of Ajay Devgan. Yeah. Huh? You want to go? Yeah, there is another thing you don't know. Okay, anyway, come. Maidan is the right answer. Maidan is the right answer. Maidan is in Hindi, it's a field. Okay, it's an upcoming uh, movie based on the Olympics where Indians were playing without the shoes. All right. And we have two more rounds. We'll go quickly at 7.15. Double. Trouble. Now, I make it clear, it's a buzzer round. All right, it's purely buzzer round. I have some questions from the various fields. You can opt for double. You get double in plus also, you get double in minus also. So, if it is not double, it is plus 10 or minus 5. But if it's a double, it's plus 20 or minus 10. Hope it is clear, right? So, the first one is from the field education. I'm going to ask the question there. Okay, the question is, what does N-E-E-T stand for? N-E-E-T stand for? Yeah, always you tell NEET exam, NEET exam. What is a NEET exam? No one? Guruji people? Okay, number three. 
डबल नो डबल नो डबल नो डबल सिंगल टेन और माइनस फाइव इज जस्ट अगे नेशनल एग्जामिनेशन ऑफ इंजीनियरिंग एंड टेक्नोलॉजी सॉरी ओके एनी बड़ी एनी बड़ी ओनली वन आई विल टेक यू आई डोंट यस नेक्स्ट टू यस के जी आर सर नेक्स्ट या I'll give it to you. National eligibility, come entrance test, please come. Okay, this is for basically for the medical people. They are medical examinations, and we have joint entrance exam also. That's called as the EE. Okay. The second question goes with awards. Minus five. Awards. Now this is the question I heard today also. Let's see. Who won the Femina Miss India 2023? Who won the Femina Miss India 2023? 10 or minus 5 or 20 or minus 10? No? Girls, anybody? Okay, nobody is going for right. Girls, anyone? Girls, yeah. Priyanka, twenty twenty three. Okay, one more. Huh? Deepika Padukone, Dimple Kapadia, Alia Bhatt. Please don't tell all these names now. One more. Okay, I have asked you so many questions. Yeah. I told just now, don't tell Alia. But all right, brilliant house, brilliant team. I am coming to you. Yeah, I am asking the name. Miss Miss Mumbai, who won the Bhavana Miss India. There is a person. He is she is having a name. I am asking the name. These guys were practicing the same. No, no, no. We googled Miss yeah. Universe. We didn't Google or uh, Google Femina and stuff like that. It's Nandini Gupta. All right, going going to third one. Get ready with the buzzer. It's the question based on India. India has twenty-eight states. How many union territories are there? I can say this with a lot of confidence. Yes. Eight union territories. Eight, eight. Name it. Huh? Sir, that's not the question. That's not the question. <laughs> okay, I'll give it to you. Eight. Eight is the correct answer. We'll go a little faster. Okay, guys. The next one. No, they didn't go for double. They didn't go for double. It's a plus ten. You have to tell me double, and then only you answer if you are confident. Okay. This is about books. Which book has launched its coffee table book called The Banker to Every Indian? Which bank has launched its coffee table book? This again last week. The Banker to Every Indian. No chance. This boy never answered. Tell me. Come. SBI. Tell me the full form. Tell me the full form of SBI. SBI is State Bank of India. Go ahead. All right. Now this question you should answer. Everybody should answer this. Okay. It's IT question. What is the full form of GPT in Chat GPT? What is the full form of GPT in Chat GPT? Very famous. I think you have used it. Chat GPT. Chat GPT. Or we have to write in ChatGPT. What is your full form? 
Anybody? One, only one. Wait, wait, wait. You don't tell me any, I'll take one chocolate from you otherwise. Okay, one, this boy. Yeah. <laughs> Global perspective, please handle that. Okay. General, I'm making one, um, this thing, of the f funny full forms, a book I'm going to write, I'll call you that time. Who is that? What, 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 what? Oh, something like that, okay, fine, 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 fine. Done. One more? Okay, last one. Yes. Tell me again. Generative pre trained? Trained or training? I'll give it to you, it's training, but. Okay? Generative pre training transformer. Come on. Yes, Johan. All right. The next question goes with. Movies. Next question goes with the movies. Okay. It's a big question. It's a big question. Guys, quiet. Three films hold the record of winning the most Academy Awards. Eleven each. Right? I'll tell you two names. You have to tell me the third name. Three movies which having the record of winning the most Academy Awards, 11 each. The first movie is Ben-Hur in 1959. The second one in 2003, The Lord of the Rings, The Return of the King. Name the third one. Anyone going for the buzzer? No one? No one from the... Let them... No one? Yeah, fourth. Try out. Ten or minus five. Quick. Lion King. Lion King. I didn't ask the best animated movie. It's a... Okay, minus five. All right, La one question. Last one, who is raising hand? Wait, I gave you everything, everywhere, at once. Sit down. Okay. Huh? Okay, leave it. It's Titanic. In 1997, my last question here. Yeah, quickly, we are 7.25. The next question is a maths-based mental maths. Okay? Quickly, do it. Go ahead. All right, number three. Answer, please. 110. 110. 110 is wrong answer. Minus 5. Sorry, no pass. You can still tell. 97? Wrong. My God. That girl. Anvita Jindal. 100, come. I gave you so much time, last time. Okay, the next one is easy one. Keep your hands on the buzzer, guys. Okay, I'm going to show you some pictures with... You have to identify the person. Easy ones. All right, the first one here. Okay, here, if you get with the first clue, you get 20, 15, 10, 5. Right? I'm going to show you some... Pictures, but it is not full picture of a person. 
If you can guess with the first one, you get 20 points. Second one, you get 10, 15. Okay, yeah, buzzer only. It's all buzzer. Right. So the first one, see the I. 20 points. Any idea? No buzzer? Okay. Second, second clue. Come on, guys. Second clue. Quiet, quiet. Uh, buzzer it, buzzer. Four, number four. Number four. Rashmika Mandana. Rashmika? Rashmika? Rashmika Mandana. Rashmika Mandana, I'll give it 15 points. All right. That was the third clue. That's the fourth clue. And that's the answer. Right. Ready for the last one here? Second, same rule, 20, 15, 10, 5. Buzzer ready, first one. Anyone? No? Second clue? No? No? Wait, audience, wait. Third one. Oh, wait, 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 wait. In the third one. Four. Steve Harvey. Steve Harvey. You get in third one. Who is he? Steve Harvey. Who is he? He's a host. Host, anchor, comedian, right? You get in third, that means you get 10 points. All right. Hmm? Over, no problem. It's okay, Steve Harvey. All right, the last round, quick ones. We already, with Kalyansa, the machine gun. So are you all ready for the machine gun round? Well, we have four sets of questions. One person from the team will come and sit on that supposed to be hot chair, but it's plastic. And I'll ask he or she will get 60 seconds to answer my questions. Audience, you need to keep quiet. Yeah, quiet. We start with brilliant. <laughs> Sidan Sony, all set? Hopefully. Ready? I have four sets of questions. Which set do you want? One, two, three, four. Three. At least that you decide, yeah? Three. Three? Okay. Your time starts now. Considered a classic of American literature. Three, two, one. Considered a classic of American literature. Who wrote the novel, The Adventures of Huckleberry Finn? Charles Dickens. How many stripes does Adidas have? Three. Who is created, credited with the discovery of penicillin? I, can you repeat the question? I can't, I can't understand. Which company owns Bugatti, Lamborghini, Audi, Porsche, and Ducati? Don't look there. Toyota. Look at me. Answer, please. Next question. Next question. 
What does BMW stand for in English? Bavarian Motor Works. Which Spanish artist painted the famous artwork, The Persistence of Memory? Next question. What is the capital of New Zealand? Uh, next question. What does HTTP stand for? Uh, sorry, STTP. STTP. HTTP. Uh, hypertext Transfer Protocol. If something is hepatic, then it relates to which organ of the body? Kidneys. Well, you have attempted nine questions. Consider a classic of American literature who wrote the novel, The Adventures of Huckleberry Finn. It's Mark Twain. How many stripes does Adidas have? You said three, that's correct. Who's credited with the discovery of penicillin? You didn't have an answer. It's Alexander Fleming. Which company owns Bugatti, Lamborghini, and so on? It's Volkswagen. What does BMW stand for? Bavarian Motor Works, you are correct. Which Spanish artist painted the famous artwork, The Persistence of Memory, is Salvador Dali. What is the capital of New Zealand? You didn't have an answer, it's Wellington. What does HTTP stand for? Hypertext Transfer Protocol is right. If something is hepatic, then it relates to which organ body? It is the liver. You get 13 points, one, three. Thank you. Quick, quick, quick. Team Clever. One, two, ka four, four, two, ka one, which one? Let's take two. Let's take two. Let's take two. Get ready? Yeah. Your time starts now. Who wrote the novel Pride and Prejudice? Uh, next question, I can't hear. What is he Hewlett Packard originally known for? What is what known for? HP originally known for? Uh, uh, natural gas. In which fields the Nobel Prizes are given? Uh, sciences. You have to specify. Physics, chemistry. What more? Radiology, I guess. Who was the first person to run a mile in under four minutes? Next. What does the acronym AIDS stand for? A-I-D-S. Next. Who painted the famous artwork, The Last Supper? Next. What is the capital of Finland? Helsinki. What is often seen as the smallest unit of memory? Can I answer, sir? Yes. Uh, bite? No, it's a wrong answer. Who wrote the novel Pride and Prejudice? Jane Austen. What is HP originally known for? It is for printers. In which fields the Nobel Prize are given? It's physics, chemistry, medicine, literature, peace, and economics. Who was the first person to run a mile in under four minutes? It's Roger Bannister. What does the acronym AIDS stand for? It is Acquired Immune Deficiency Syndrome. Who painted the famous artwork, The Last Supper? It was Leonardo da Vinci. What is the capital of Finland? You said Helsinki, that's the right answer. What is often seen as the smallest unit of memory? It is kilobyte. Often seen, yes. You score three points. Team intelligent. He comes he's like he's ready to face the bullets. Sizing, all set. Yes. One or four? Four.
Your time starts now. Who wrote the novel The Catcher in the Rye? Next. Who owns Virgin Atlantic Airlines? Next. Which, what part of the atom has no electric charge? N nucleus. Next. I mean nucleus. Nucleus. What is the slogan of Apple Incorporation? Repeat. What is the slogan of Apple Incorporation? Next. What do the Olympic rigs, rings symbolize? Peace. Who painted the famous artwork, The Scream? Next. The capital of Iceland is? Next. Which email service is owned by Microsoft? Repeat. Which email service is owned by Microsoft? Gmail. No, mail. Oh, sorry. Your time is up. You get minus two. The last team. Sharp. You have no choice. It's one. Your time starts now. Who was the author of the book Othello? Next. Which year was the first model of iPhone released? Repeat. Which year was the first model of iPhone released? Accordions, quiet please. Uh, 1999, next. Who was the first scientist to win Nobel Prizes for Physics and Chemistry? Rutherford, next. Which artist released a 1991 album entitled Dangerous? Next. What is the term for someone who collects books? Bookworm. A raging bull features on the emblem of which luxury Italian car brand? Repeat. A raging bull features on the emblem of which luxury Italian car brand? Ferrari. What is the capital of the Czech Republic? You can answer that. No idea. Pass. Okay. Yours is minus eight. Who was the author of the book Othello? It is William Shakespeare. Which year was the first model of the iPhone released? It was 2007. Who was the first scientist to win the Nobel Prize for Physics and Chemistry? It's Marie Curie. Which artist released a 1991 album, album entitled Dangerous? Michael Jackson. What is the term for someone who collects books? Bibliophile. Bibliophile. A raging bull features on the emblem of which luxury Italian car brand? It is Lamborghini. What is the capital of the Czech Republic? It's Prague. Thank you. Thank you, sir. We're short of time. It's 7.40 and the results are with me. All right. Hope you enjoyed it, audience. How many got chocolates? Oh my God, so many got chocolates. Very nice. All right, participants, well done. I'm going to tell the scores. There's a fight between the third and fourth place. All right, the fourth place goes to the team Sharp. That's with 22 points. The third prize goes to team intelligent with 23 points so there's a difference of one mark the second place goes to team brilliant and the winner of today's quiz 
is Team Clever, that's Winter House. Congratulations to all the houses. You've done a good job. And we log off here right now.